What's up? Rick Damon here, and we are going to do a quick video on the top five ways to pose to show everyone that you're a strength coach so everyone knows that you're a strength coach. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. all right, here we go. Yeah. That's correct. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so, really, just by um, just looking at everyone's profile pictures and kind of seeing this online presence of this. Uh, business has become strength and conditioning. I think the most vital point from an advertising standpoint, and you see it all the time, is that um, to make sure that your profile picture uh, presents itself well. So you want to make sure that as a strength coach, you stand or take your, get your picture taken so that everyone knows you're a strength coach. So today we're going to give you the top five poses um, to make sure everyone knows you're a strength coach because we don't want to have any dollars on it. Uh, key is also have a good cameraman. My cameraman is Rick Damon, obviously. So we got a lot of professionalism here, a lot of high-end <laughs> technical background. So, number one, real basic, simple. Always make sure you're upright posture, you're nice and tall, slight flex. Pull <laughs> bicep or the fist underneath the biceps to stand tall. And if you can flex the, bi the fist a little bit, push out on the biceps. And you always have to look angry uh, in the picture. It doesn't matter where you're looking per se. <laughs> Also change the pose a little bit to the side. Yeah. Make sure you're looking angry. Alright, so that's number one. Number two is, you see this a lot just walking around the fitness facility or the gym, is my armpits are on fire. <laughs> Alright, so you have to visualize like holy crap, my armpits are on fire. And again, posture is important. It's about standing up tall like you're uh, competing at the Olympia. Hands are in a fist position, going nice and tall, kind of got your lats sticking out. So you always have to, again, look angry and mean like something's pissed you off all day or the night before. All right? So that's number two. Two. Number all right. three, these work on progressions, obviously. You need some props here. All right? You set your barbell up in your rack. Now, the key here is uh, limb length. So you need to make sure that this is adjusted according to your height. All right? And you want to get yourself in a comfortable position. You kind of lean into the bar. And as you drape your arms over the bar, you want to make sure that you're able to push your the, Bar into your arms and your biceps to kind of make sure that the biceps kind of take on this swelling appearance. Perhaps get the leg lean forward a little bit, look towards the camera, maybe a slight <laughs> maybe stare off and be angry again. The visual pose is really good for you. Okay, so that's prop number one. Biceps over the bar. Our fourth one, this is kind of a specialty, so if you utilize kettlebells, it's necessary to show everyone that you use kettlebells. Right. So I'm just going to think, hey, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to clean it, and I want to make sure that I'm in a good postural position, but I'm going to hold the kettlebell out in front of me, and make sure that whoever's taking your video or your picture, get the kettlebell <laughs> into the frame along your face. Now you can look focused at the kettlebell, you can look up, perhaps you're going to press it, or just a simple angry face. Right? <laughs> so that's with the kettlebell. Right. Okay. Now, if you don't use kettlebells, I wouldn't rec uh, recommend utilizing a kettlebell in your profile. Right. It's kind of false advertising. Right. And finally, the meat and potatoes <laughs> is we have to show everyone how much we can lift. So you put as much weight on the bar as possible. Uh, and set it in a good deadlift position. It's important that the hands are correct uh, when people are looking at the, 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 the actual picture. Otherwise, they're going to critique that and you're going to have comments all over the place. Right. <laughs> Point number one is not let your videographer or your photographer take your picture down here. Anyone can pose that, okay? I can put a thousand pounds on here and do that. Right? We want to catch this picture in about midpoint of the repetition. Set up, set pool. Right about here is where Click. angry face. <laughs> and this will sometimes work with not So there you have it. Good morning. Top five ways to pose like a strength coach so that everyone knows you're a strength coach.